Hey guys, it's Missy Wolf, and I'm here with Mo Pitney. You're watching Center Stage Magazine. And we are at Stagecoach 2016, which is amazing. It's my first time here. How about you? It is my first time here, too. What do you too. think so far? I'm blown away. We just pulled in not too long ago. Right. But to, to see all this big landscape and the mountains behind us, in front of the stage where we'll be playing and everything, it's just amazing. It's, so. it's pretty intense here. And, of course, it is. You said you guys just blew in. It's really, the wind has been blowing here, guys. <laughs> so I haven't done my hair. I'm not going to either. So all my interviews today are going to be like this. But, oh my gosh, so you have a lot going on, but I want yeah. to talk about you first. Okay. You have a personality that I just think really speaks to people, and you're real. You're as real as it gets, and you've said that you're a God-fearing man, which I just find very just intriguing and inviting. So I want to wow. know more about your background and what made you decide to do the mu music career. Okay. Well, I'm from, I'm from Rockford, Illinois. Uh, grew up, started playing bluegrass when I was 13 years old. Uh, traveled with my family, uh, doing that for a while um, there's some people that heard some of our music uh, when I was 18 and invited us down to Nashville to start writing for a record and and um, very quickly got a record deal with Universal actually right. and uh, had uh, made some music for them for about a year and then there was a, a merger and things happened and we yeah. moved and ended up at uh, Curb Records which oh, okay. is where I'm at now and uh, as far as what made me decide mm -hmm. to to play music I just think it was written um, by someone else who's telling the story and, right. and I just kind of tried to to follow the path that I thought that I was on and it's led me here right. Um, right. but early on I, I knew that I was uh, a singer uh, I didn't know if I was a good singer or not I just knew that I sang and and that is uh, open doors as long as well as playing guitars to right. to, to record music for a label and all Absolutely. those good things that and, people want and do. you're a great singer you you know, um, I was introduced to you by Hi Sue. I'm going to talk to, talk about you now. Sue Bogucky is, is somebody that I've met through um, another country artist, and she she would post on her social media all about you, okay. and she would stand in line for your show, and she would be like the first one there, and she was talking about how um, she ran into you at like at the buffet or some food place, you know, beforehand or whatever, and she really wanted to talk to you, but she was shy. Oh, or, really? Yeah, um, and she she just kept saying that you were just such a nice guy, and she suggested that I interview you. So. So when I found out you were going to be at Stagecoach, I was like, oh God, I have to do this. Okay. But great. um, but you have you have an interesting thing that I, I read about Johnny Cash. Where, oh yeah. Which, which album was it? Again? It was uh, Live at San Quentin. It was the right. first album I ever played. I had I had a broken arm when I learned how to play guitar when I was 13. I actually punched a kid at church. That's a different <laughs> that's a different story. Um, but the cast went from my arm up here down to over my oh, wow. pinky and uh, ring finger, and uh, I just, for some reason, I got the bug to learn how to play the guitar, so I grabbed my dad's Ibanez guitar and laid a rag over it and sat on my bed and started at about 11 o'clock at night, and I played till like 6 o'clock in the morning oh my to gosh. the record and learned all the, the licks off the front of the songs, and I actually woke my dad up with the guitar pretty much when he was getting up to go to work, and I played him all the licks, and I thought wow. I was a genius, and, oh, that's awesome. and it's really just taken off from there. It, it, what, that led me to go to bluegrass festivals and mm -hmm. play some Johnny Cash music, which is where I fell in love with bluegrass music, and there we went. No, is that where you met your lovely bride? When I was 15 years old, I met my bride at a bluegrass festival in s central Illinois. Nice. Uh, she was, I think we were opening up for them, actually. <laughs> we played right before them at a bluegrass festival, and I I saw her singing and playing the fiddle, and I thought I had seen the prettiest girl I'd ever seen in my life. She is very so, pretty. She, yeah. She's sitting right behind the camera, right, yeah. kind of right next to the camera. Yeah. Um, I've been chatting with her. She's great. She's yeah, lovely. She is. And great. you guys just got married. Two months ago, or That's just great. over two months ago. Right, so. right. Well, congratulations. I think I got the date right, March 5th. Yes, you did. <laughs> she's, like, she's clapping. I think she needs to come say hi. You want to come say hi? Come on. Come yes, say I think hi. she needs to come say hi. Um, Sit with us. Absolutely, because I mean, definitely the two of you together, you so, you're so cute. And I've seen, seen your, well, the pictures that you have, excuse me, I'm eating my hair. I told you it's windy. Um, I love doing that. <laughs> Except it's not long enough. The, the pictures that you guys have together on, on your website are just so cute. So when I saw her standing up there, I was like, I know that's her. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. Her. She's yep. so cute. So, so you guys met when you were 15 and mm -hmm. you guys were friends for 
Yeah, we just kind of were friends for a while. I don't, after I seen that she was, thought she was one of the most beautiful girls I'd ever seen, we got to know each other, and I didn't really like her. Um, <laughs> and uh, she didn't really like me either, and she had good reason to not like me. I was kind of an arrogant jerk at the time. Which explains and, the cast on your arm. From yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it all makes sense now. Um, but anyways, we uh, God had done some amazing things in our right. life later on, uh, probably when I was 21. And same for her too and That's started great. to become best friends after that mm-hmm. kind of rejoicing in what God had changed in us mm-hmm. and uh, it wasn't very long after that we were more than just friends so that's awesome well, things I'm, moved quickly too definitely well I mean and obviously you know getting signed when you did and, and everything mm-hmm. I mean that's just been amazing to, to watch your career and you have new stuff coming up right yeah uh, the album uh, is finished right now Ooh. so we're hoping to have that out in the next three months or so. All right, guys. Get ready for that. We don't have uh, a release date yet, Mm -hmm. and we're just working on finishing up the artwork and stuff right now. So excited about that. We have a new single coming out, hopefully in the next few months. It's a song called Everywhere. It's a song I wrote with uh, Phil O'Donnell and Dean Dillon. So it's one of my favorite songs on the record as well. So nice. Nice. Now, do you, when you're writing your songs, do you write about... Uh, all my like my manager and everything has said all of his writing has changed ever since he got married I wrote a lot of heartbreak sad depressing songs and now I've got like 90% right? love songs now. Right? So. <laughs> love does amazing things for people it's, it's it does it's the driving factor of the universe it's, it's it, love you know yeah. what it is and if everybody would just love a little bit more yep. I just think this place would be a lot yep. lot happier especially very, out there in general audience you guys if you're at Stagecoach and you're in GA just be nice to your fellow attendees okay because yep. nobody needs to be stepping on anybody's toes yep. out there and getting mad i'm very careful to always say not to get it backwards that um god is love love is not god um god right. often determines what love is because if there is not god then then you can, we if we're left to determine what is loving we might mess that up so definitely <laughs> definitely oh my gosh I, so, I love that and i love how real you are and i love that uh, fans can connect to you like who you uh, are and you're your debut single is like speaks about who you are right? oh yeah yeah because song called country um i wrote it with uh bobby tomberlin and uh bill anderson actually and we just sat around for about four hours and got to talking about country music what we thought it was what bobby and bill thought it was and and um ended up in this place of talking about just country the word country right. and what we thought that meant and uh, after about four hours of talking about that we ended up writing a song about it and it's, it's really just what we believe the word country is uh, we might not have it totally accurate but uh, we do from our standpoint I right guess. <laughs> right and and your sound I, I love your sound because to me it's it's more the the original country to traditional country and I just I love it so much yeah I mean I, I just think that's who I am mm-hmm. uh, I try not to put myself in a box and say that I have to stay that way or right or when I write a song I don't think okay now we got to make sure it's traditional or right. my fans won't listen but right. but when I write something that's yeah. the way it comes out so no, it's awesome yeah. and you, you definitely need to be proud and we're so excited to watch you perform later we're excited to perform absolutely so. all right well thank you so much for thank taking you. the time I know you have a busy day yep. you guys at home stay tuned for more